Hello YouTube, this is the Computer Tips and today this is a video I'm going to be starting on how to create a sales report on Microsoft Excel 2010. This is going to be a new video series and it's going to be different tutorials on Microsoft Excel 2010. So this is great for people who have been businesses and want to learn how to create a sales report. So first things first, what we want to do is go to File. Right up here. Next, we want to click Save As. Then you want to pick the folder that you have designed or you created to save the file, which I already have one called YouTube Excel Tutorials. I'm going to name this Book One. Click Save. Wait for this to save, and now we're good. So let's go over some of the basic features of. Microsoft Excel 2010 so right here this is the name box and basically as you see here it, I have selected column A row 1 and it shows up right up here if I was to click over here it will tell me it's D5 which is column D row 5 same thing goes if I pick any other place as well as we have the level buttons which are up here which is to close minimize or restore window sorry about that and this one's minimized then you have help as well as close ribbon if you don't know this section right up here is the ribbon now we won't be using the ribbon for now that's going to come in later parts of this series so for now I'm going to close the ribbon you don't have to you can leave yours open whatever makes you feel more comfortable Next we have is the formula bar up here. And basically the formula bar displays the value of formulas contained in the active cell, which is will be one of these. As you see if I click here, I activated this cell block. And it also permits entry and editing. So I can enter stuff on here if I wanted to, or I can edit something that I already entered. Next we have the grid area, which is this section entirely up here where you'll mainly be doing all your work in the grid area we also have the vertical window split which is all the way down here and allows you to split uh, sections as you see there now we won't be needing to use that for this tutorial or for this video series where we'll be showing sales report we won't be really using that feature we also have the expand horizontal scroll bar which is right down here and you can scroll left right as well as the status bar which is down here and this will basically um, <clears throat> excuse me display the current cell mode page number worksheet information view and zoom in buttons and for numeric data uh, common calculations such as sum and average it will be displayed on there as well there's also the sheet tabs and the enter sheet tab button or a worksheet and as you see by default there's three sheets but you can always add more for this tutorial we won't be using any of the other sheets um, you can go ahead and delete them now if you want but later on in the video series I will be asking you to delete them just because you won't be needing them and that's pretty much the basics of this um, I won't go into detail of a lot of other stuff because I want to start doing the um, uh, creating the data sheet or the sales report as soon as possible so that I don't bore you guys anyways now let's enter the data into the worksheet so you're gonna wanna in column A, row 1, enter the name of the sales report. For this, I'm going to be using fake names. So, the computer tips. Sales report. Press enter. And it will automatically take you to the next column. I'm going to give this one first. Quarter. Sales report. Uh, we're going to skip uh, the third row and go straight into the fourth row. Here you're going to want to put the name 
of the products that you're going to be displaying the sales report for. So I'm going to do headset. Let's say you have another kind of headset. Um, let's say it's headset 2.0. You can just type in H and it will automatically put in headset for you. And this is kind of the um, autocomplete feature that Excel has, which is great if you want to retype something in. Now, it will only do this for uh, similar words that are near it. So if I was to press T, it won't put in the computer tip sales report because row uh, column A row one is not near column five or, or row five, excuse me. But for this, I'm going to put holster. Next, I could put something as microphone. Batteries. And finally, total. Now you don't have to have only eight rows. You can have a lot more for how many products it is that you're creating a sales report for. And that's pretty much the basics of this first tutorial. Uh, check back in a few days where I'll be uploading part two. And in part two, we're going to be viewing some more interesting information. Which I'm pretty sure you guys will find very useful, such as um, using autofills and keyboard shortcuts to create the next portion of the sales report. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like below. And if you have any questions or concerns, also leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll catch you guys later.